Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back, it's Jordan here. So the wife told me today that we've got to bring the kids out somewhere. She's like, we have to go somewhere with the kids today. No matter what, we've got to get them out of the house and I've got to get out of the house. She's like, all right, well, I guess I'm going to come with you with my wicked cool space hat on. And I'm going to look like super dad out there. <laughs> so I was trying to think, where can we go? What would be fun? And I was like, you know what we should do? You know what would be really fun and really different for this guy and for the kids is we should bring them to Toys R Us. She's like, are you serious? I'm like, yeah, let's go to Toys R Us. That sounds like a classic thing. You know, when I was a kid, all I wanted to do was go to Toys R Us. And now as an adult, all I want to do is go to Toys R Us. So let's go to Toys R Us. And she's like, all right, I guess that works. So today in this video, we're going to be doing some shopping at Toys R Us. And I guess I'll probably check out the Lego aisle. Why not, right? What did you guys do? Are you guys excited to go to Toys R Us? What did you do? Answer me. What happened? <laughs> what did you do? We recently installed these so they're mad because they can no longer get in the cupboards. Right, kids? Are we going to go to Toys R Us today? Oh, yeah. So the dogs aren't allowed in the kitchen while they're eating anymore. They're allowed in after and they're the cleanup crew, but I don't know. Just they get in the way and... They fight with each other for all the fallen food and the kids start throwing foods at them. So they're like stuck behind the gate. Look how sad they look. Like I want all those Cheerios on the floor. So the kids aren't quite ready to go yet. I had to run downstairs to grab something and I wanted to show you something. I've been struggling with cable management. Cords and stuff just get everywhere. They're such a pain, especially when you got a lot of them. So some people told me to use pencil cases. I thought that was a great idea. I might have to pick up some pencil cases while I'm out today. And some people told me to use paper towel rolls. And I was like, wow, that's a cool idea too. So cords go everywhere and they still look like they're absolutely everywhere. But I just Amazon searched cable management, I think. And I came across these Velcro straps. And you literally just feed them onto your cable and then you're able to do things like this. So now it's like, oh, I need a USB extender. Boom, there it is. Sort of neat and tidy, right? Better than just having it in there loose. And I've done that with like pretty much every cable in my house now. So like extension cords are all nicely uh, tied up like that. Whatever, HDMI cables and all that stuff. And then I've like bunched a group or bunched a bunch of these together, right? So yeah. This is pretty nice. I do want to get like a pencil case for all my standard chargers though. But yeah, I just wanted to let you know about this Amazon find. Uh, yeah, if you're struggling with cable management or you have a big dirty drawer of cables like I had prior to ordering these, I'd recommend these. They're pretty sweet and cheap too. Really check it out. Oh, we can't put it back now. <laughs> you like Bowser's shell? Oh, what do you got there, buddy? <laughs> I knew you'd enjoy this place. Okay, well, I don't think we can get you this. I'm sorry. We should get one of these things for all the kids' Lego. It's actually pretty cool. Check it out, guys. We're in Dad's department. Look, <laughs> Millie. Look at that. Benjamin, that was you the other day. You were Spider-Man. That's you in the helicopter, dude. Hey, that's actually pretty cool. Look at that. Little spider helicopter. Look at this little Hulk. You guys like that? This thing is $80. $80 for that. Are you kidding me? So the kids like Duplo. We have the bathtub toys, like, uh, what, these things? Oh, we don't have that one. That looks pretty lit. But the issue is, is they can't, like, put it together yet. They can pull it apart, but they can't put it together because like the studs are almost like too small. They're just not that coordinated yet, hey? Yeah, not quite yet. One day though, you're gonna be a building machine. I'm trying to get you there though. I just don't know if any of these sets here are gonna like get them to that next phase of building and putting things together. So yeah, we came here today because we wanted to get the uh, kids out of the house and they enjoy looking at all the colors and stuff. And maybe we'll try and find them something building related so that uh, they can learn how to put this stuff together, right? And I want to come here as well because it's still 20% uh, off Lego right now, like on certain sets, like some of the Lego city sets right here, 20% off. I was actually eyeing this one up last time I was here and I didn't end up getting it. 
but the Arctic Explorer truck and mobile lab might be pretty cool to get because this would look cool in the ski slope. It might be a bit too large, but you also get some polar bears and like all these uh, winterish minifigures as well. You always got your tongue hanging out. Check this thing out, man. You can be our little construction worker. That's Lego-like. You can build on it. Is this like a mega product? Is that mega constructs? It is, mega blocks. Look at that, Lego don't make anything like that. Hey? And you know what I like about it is, look how big the studs are. So the kids could actually like put these huge studs together maybe. Look at this one, it's got the ABCs on it. Look at this train, wow. But yeah, maybe like it'll be easier for them to put together. I mean, I don't really want to go the mega block route, but possibly they could for sure like put things together there, right Benny? You could do that. You could learn how to build with mega. Yeah, <laughs> maybe. I think Jose already picked out a product there. What do you got? She's like sheltering this from me. She's like, don't let Jordan see this mega blocks. Look at the, the stud size though. When you compare that to Duplo, it's gonna be so much easier for them to actually construct something. Cause like Duplo, it's still relatively difficult for these kids to put together, right? But this might be the way to start. This is sort of like girly colors. Is there anything for Ben? What is it, 80 blocks for 25 bucks? It seems a little bit more reasonably priced than Duplo as well. Look at that. We could get this thing here for 25 bucks and this for 25 bucks and that's still cheaper than that Duplo set. Oh my gosh, Lego Duplo is expensive. Like seriously, at the age that my kids are at, what would they have more fun with? That right there for $25 or this over here for 180. Are you kidding me, $180? I can get them this big bag of bricks for 25 bucks, right? And then we can get them the train for 25 bucks. We could get them this and we're not even near $180 yet. I think these guys are gonna be starting with mega, oh my gosh. I'm gonna be Trey Lego maybe today. That's crazy. But with that said, I sort of wanna get some more Lego here today too. Look, the up house is still on sale. They've got the Disney duos. I picked that up the other day. I uh, didn't get this one, but then somebody was like, hey, you know what? That one actually is a really cool Mickey Mouse minifigure, which is exclusive to the set. I don't know if I wanna get it specifically for that reason, but it's pretty neat. This on sale for uh, $40 is not too bad. I know it's a four plus set and it's like, woohoo, four plus set. But look, you get Minnie, Mickey, Tinker, Peter, uh, Woody, and Moana. So you get two, four, six great minifigures for 40 bucks plus all of these pieces, which will all be print. Some nice fabric, that sheriff sign. I already have it, so I don't need it, but still, it's actually not a bad value, even though it's only 200 bucks. I mean, <laughs> only 200 bucks, only 200 pieces. You get some pretty good things in there. Last time I was here, I was checking out some of the dream stuff too. I haven't tried any of this yet. Some of the like pieces in it, pretty wild. And they didn't have the shark ship in stock. I've been eyeing this one up. 143.97 on sale right now. Regular 180. I was like, if I'm gonna get any Dreams product, it for sure has to be the Shark Ship. Look at these minifigures though, on the top. Pretty crazy. There's some insane elements in there, but do I really need to get this to put it on my shelves? <sighs> I don't know. Like, what would I do with such a crazy product? There was this one that has like, or it converts into the van, like the camper van. So you can have it as the, the crazy whatever, whatever kind of creature that is, or the actual camper van. But it's still 47, like $50. So I value $50 just to have this little camper van somewhere in the uh, Lego city. At least they're doing price match right now as well. So that's huge. If you see it somewhere like on amazon.ca or something, then it's gonna be, cheaper. Hey, this is not a bad uh, Hogwarts Express. And you also get the uh, Hogsmeade train station as well. You know what? I think I just spotted what I need in the uh, Technic department here. I'm going to grab this for sure. The Technic Snow Groomer. I know it's Technic and it doesn't really match the city feel, but look at that. It's a nice little snow groomer for 20 bucks rather than getting this thing up here because they, this thing is going to look huge on my, on my ski slope, right? It's going to take up the whole the old bloody trail, whereas this thing is just nice, small, compact. No, it's actually a two-in-one set. 
It looks like a minifigure can fit in there and it might actually look pretty decent. So I'm gonna get that one there. Oh, look, they got Bowser in stock along with a ton of Mario stuff. Where are my kids? I've lost them. They're lost in the store somewhere. We've got a, a lady doing a stock check for us because we spotted one product that might be nice to get. So we're just waiting to hear back on that. So I don't want to be that guy, but I want to test out this policy. I just spotted this product, which is $19.99 here on Amazon.ca for $16.68. I'm gonna see if they're gonna match it. It's free, one day shipping will arrive at my door tomorrow. Maybe they're gonna price match. I, I don't really care, but like, I just wanna see if this policy is legit. I so badly wanna like invest in dioramas, but even at their sale price, like they're outrageously expensive, 807 pieces, $107.97. It's all cheaper than the Lego website, but still. Is the trash compactor retired? They are pretty cool because they come with the print pieces. That being the tile and also like the big panel there too for the 40th anniversary of the Return of the Jedi. Not bad. I wonder what new dioramas are gonna come out with next year. Okay, so the nice lady came back from the room and look, I think she brought us the better colors. Right? Here, Millie. Play with that. There. You happy now? <laughs> you got your big bag of blocks? Perfect. You got your bin full of Cheerios. I don't think you need another one of those because you've got a walker, you've got a pony, you've got all sorts of things, you know? Here, look at that. Next level toy, buddy. There you go. But yeah, I'm glad that they had this one in stock just because I think it's better colors than these ones, but maybe we should get one for Ben and one for Mill. Jose, they're only yeah, they're gonna learn with those and then eventually we'll upgrade you to Duplo. Uh-oh. I cannot wait till you guys are at the age where you can actually like walk around and enjoy this stuff and be like, I want this Thomas the Train Set. Hey? Yeah. Look at these dinosaur eggs, Mill. <laughs> she already loves her blocks. We want to get him some Christmas gifts and we're not sure if we should do that today. Look at this thing. I want to get that for myself for Christmas. Well, we're thinking like a Tonka truck. Right, Benny? Uh-oh. It might be time to go soon. You guys do not last long shopping, do ya? All right, kids. You guys got your toys? They did do a price match. That's huge. Thank you so much, Toys R Us. Whoa, big bump. Yeah. Now where are we going? We're gonna go look at some Christmas stuff. Woohoo! Check it out, guys. Is that a cool hat? Oh, she wants it. Oh. Everything's buy one, get one free. So if we get you a hat, <laughs> then we can get your brother a hat too. But honestly, we have enough Christmas decorations as it is. The reason we came to Michael's, the craft store here, is to pick up some smelly pine cones. We get new ones every year. They smell like cinnamon. It smells like Christmas. And you may as well get them while they're BOGO. All right, kids, it is time. Check out your off-brand blocks. Oh my Wait, gosh. Should we dump it? Mega blocks, dump it. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, ho, ho. What are those things? Oh my goodness. Can you put them together? You gonna put them together, Benny? That's it. Here. Can you pull it apart? You want to try? We'll see. Come on, you got it. You gotta be strong. Here, I'll take one end. Pull. <laughs> You're not gonna do it for the camera, are you? <laughs> Look. Ooh. Come on, we gotta turn you into some Lego masters. This one's easy. A bit easier. Can you do that one, buddy? Oh, there you go, Mel. I will say it's not like as, it's not as smooth. Like it's, it's got bit, more it's clutch not, power. Yeah, like it's not as smooth oh. putting it together. So it's a bit harder to put it together. So maybe it's not as good, but so they like are that way. Is easy, putting the one into, yeah. so like when it, I feel like the one by ones, 
will be pretty yeah. easy, or, or for sure much easier than like a one by four. Yeah. So and they'll struggle with these ones a bit for sure for a bit, but. They are way bigger than Mega, I mean, than uh, Duplo too, so. They do love their Duplo, but this will for sure be easier for their current skill level. Yeah. Hey, we're just trying to turn them into Mega Builders. Mega Builders. No! Lego Builders, right? So. We'll get there. So the kids are having fun with their big bag of blocks upstairs, and I decided to build the Technic Snow Groomer. I was actually pretty surprised by this thing. Look, my kid like ate the box. Oh, that's not good. But I was actually really surprised by this thing because it's pretty cool. Look, it's right here on the ski hill, right? The treads move. And also I can turn the front blade and I can raise and lower the front blade right here. So just this little tiny Technic set has got some features, right? It's going to be grooming the hill here. I don't know if it's going to be like in an action pose, like it's actually grooming because we're going to have skiers on the hill, right? So I don't think they're going to be grooming at the same time. We all know that can be dangerous. So that might not be the best, but they might be like parked somewhere down on the bottom of the hill, right? A little snow groomer. I'm actually glad that I uh, came across this at uh, Toys R Us. Not bad for 16 bucks, right? Get a little snow groomer action here on the ski slope. Uh, I got some other exciting stuff happening this week in regards to that project because the uh, parts that I ordered are on the way. So the uh, chairlift is going to be operational ASAP. Bricklink was down for quite some time, so I actually paid for like the faster shipping. So that's going to be, so that order is going to be here uh, relatively soon. And then I've got some rebrickable models and stuff that I'm going to be building for the Lego City. And I'm also going to be building the Avengers Tower and placing that uh, later on this week. And then I've got to take care of a whole bunch of stuff. So it's going to be a crazy week in the Lego room uh, for the city and also for the Winter Village and the kids upstairs with their blocks. Who knows what they're going to build? <laughs> Everybody, I hope you uh, enjoyed this video. I didn't really betray Lego, I wouldn't say. I just bought my kids some larger blocks that are easier to uh, play with. Thank you so much. Please remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned. Farewell.